Hello ladies, this is Carla Marie and I am starting a new 10 day fast um, that I wanted to share with you. Number one, because it keeps me accountable um, when I know that I've got to talk to you every day. It makes it so I don't cheat. Um, I'm doing this fast for several reasons. Um, number one reason is I'm turning 59 very shortly and I've gotten a belly and it's a fairly prominent belly and I want to get rid of it. Um, number, so I will be 59, let us see, what is this, the 18th, um, 12, 17 days. Okay, so in 17 days, I'll be 59 years old and I want to be much fitter than I am right now when I turn 59. I would like to be here and healthy for many more years. You know, my 12th grandbaby is due this next week and um, I'm very excited about that. And um, <clears throat> this will be my daughter's seventh baby so she's a real trooper um, so you can say a little prayer about that um, number seven is nothing to sneeze at and um, we're very excited to be welcoming number 12 um, number three reason that this became imperative is that my youngest son just got engaged so there will most likely be a wedding in six months. And I want to look good in a mother of the groom dress. Um, so for multiple reasons, um, I need to lose some weight, but I also need to get fit. I have been hiding from my doctor. Um, I just totally skipped my yearly physical. That's not a good thing to do. Um, I know that I've got high triglycerides, high cholesterol, high blood sugar, just high um, blood pressure a little bit. So I need to get this under control. And the best way I know to do that is to just totally purge the body. So that is what I'm going to do um, this morning um, instead of eating, I decided to cut my hair. Still a little bit wet. I decided to cut my hair and I did my nails um, just to treat myself special a little bit because I couldn't eat. Um, so when you're fasting, it's important to think of other fun things that you just really like to do besides eating. I plan to um, begin again writing my book that I'm trying to write because when I get writing my book I get really absorbed in my book and that keeps me from thinking about eating. Um, so I, you got to treat yourself right when you're fasting. So right now my work day is about to begin. I'm about to get online and tutor a student in math. Um, but I will be jumping on again later in the day to just update you on fasting. I started my fast right after a huge Sunday lunch at Grandma's house yesterday. So I was very well fed before lunch yesterday. And I did not eat anything for supper last night. I only drank water. This morning I'm having a cup of coffee with a tad of cream. Um, so that I don't get any headaches today, but then after my cup of coffee, it will be water for the rest of the day, and I will check back in with you um, just to discuss um, online. You have a lot of resources of what is happening to your body as you fast, so I will be sharing some of those things as I read them to keep me encouraged about how much I'm lowering my blood sugar, etc., and this is Carla Marie, and I will be with you back again later on today. God bless your day.
Hello ladies, this is Carla Marie and I'm here to talk with you more about fasting. Um, I am very close to completing the third day of a water fast. Um, I am planning to continue. My goal is to make it 10 days and you may ask why I would like to go 10 days. Um, I've done this several times before. It is very cleansing to the body. So <clears throat> I do need to lose some weight. Um, I am uh, over what I want to be. That is a good reason to fast, but it's not the best reason to fast. Um, I'm going to give you some uh, reasons that I found online. Uh, when I'm in the middle of a fast, of course, fasting is a little bit difficult because everyone else around you is eating. And right now, it is 1135. And this is when I would normally be going to dig in the refrigerator for my lunch. So instead of digging in the refrigerator for my lunch today, I decided to dig online for benefits of fasting just to kind of shore up um, my resolve to go through with this and also to be able to share with you um, some of the things that a uh, good fast will do for you. So um, this is one of those, you know, 10 benefits of fasting things that you can see online. But I'm going to go through them one to one, one on one and, and talk about how this has been beneficial in my previous fast. Okay. So number one is fasting helps with weight loss. Well, it does really kick off your weight loss. Um, it also resets your eating, um, which is very important. When you are walking through life every day, you have bad habits. I have bad habits in how we eat. We eat too much sugar. We eat way too much fat. Um, we crave foods um, because of their taste. Uh, fasting resets those cravings um, and that's a big plus because um, you do have the opportunity much more easily to begin a proper eating program after the fast because um, you're much more disciplined after a fast your brain has not been thinking about food as much and you can uh, approach eating in a more logical way because you have been not eating for a while so fasting does help weight loss uh, generally uh, I find that I will lose a couple pounds a day the first couple of days and then, uh, largely, that could be some water loss, and, and uh, I am drinking water, but you're still going to lose some water. Um, <clears throat> also, as I continue the fast, that weight loss will slow because I'm no longer losing water. I've already lost that. Um, so, it usually will slow to a pound a day, but still a pound a day is something very noticeable so it's a lot of fun to get in the car each day and you know how my belly tends to stick out in front of me when I'm sitting in the car um, I can see it feel it but as the fast goes on that little belly pooch um, does noticeably decrease so um, that's a lot of fun to watch that go down. Um, number two, fasting improves insulin sensitivity. Now this one is a huge one for me because I am, um, I have been diagnosed with metabolic syndrome and metabolic syndrome is like uh, very often associated with pre-diabetes. So um, one of the points of metabolic syndrome is insulin insensitivity. Your cells are not um, 
as sensitive to insulin as they should be and that causes a lot of metabolic problems. So fasting improves insulin sensitivity. And I, I had a, um, after a 10 day fast, I did have a doctor's appointment uh, years ago. I had done a 10 day fast, I had gone to the doctor. Because I was um, high blood sugar, he was consistently checking me for these things. Um, uh, and after my fast, my numbers were so good that he basically said, wow, it doesn't look like you have metabolic syndrome anymore, which I confessed to him that, hey, I just got off a 10-day fast, and I probably still have metabolic syndrome, but um, it is um, basically been kicked back quite a bit by this 10-day fast. So um, I always say, hey, I'm going to regularly fast and I usually fall off that bandwagon and um, but this time I would really like to maintain my goal is to every month do a three-day fast and every year do a 10-day fast and every week do a one-day fast um, because fasting is just so beneficial for your body and does a nice little reset so um, the next one is fasting speeds up the metabolism. Um, it says intermittent fasting gives your digestive system a rest and this can energize your metabolism to burn through calories more efficiently. If your digestion is poor, this can affect your ability to metabolize food and burn fat. Intermittent fast can regulate your digestion and promote healthy bowel function thus improving your metabolic function. And since I have metabolic syndrome or disorder, anyway, this is very important for me to do for my health, is to kick it up. I do try, um, although I am uh, not eating anything, I don't have any intake of calories, I do try to continue to um, participate in light exercise every day. I continue to walk and um, do some floor exercises for my back so I am still burning some calories plus I'm still maintaining my full schedule as a teacher so uh, today I will teach a two hour and 15 minute class that's a long time on your feet and a long time walking around um, burning calories so um, fasting promotes longevity all right believe it or not the less you eat the longer you live studies have shown that the lifespan of people in certain cultures increased due to their diets however we don't need to live amongst a foreign co community to reap the benefits of fasting one of the primary effects of aging is a slower metabolism the younger your body is, the faster and more efficient your metabolism. The less you eat, the less toll it takes on your digestive system. Wow. Now, I am getting this information from lifehack.org. I want to give credit where credit's due. They've done the research. But isn't that amazing that um, your lifespan can actually be lengthened the less you eat? All right. Fasting improves hunger. Now, um, what they're trying to say here in this little section is that <clears throat> we always say, I'm hungry, okay? Um, we have uh, children. I have six of them. I also host have hosted um, 10 foreign exchange students over the course of the last 18, 19 years. So uh, we have a lot of young people in our home. <clears throat> and of course, how often do you hear me say, I'm hungry, okay? Um, when really, truly, it's only probably been one hour and 30 minutes since your last intake of food. We just are in a, we are habitually 
hungry as Americans. We don't know what true hunger is. And they found, and this is what this article was saying, that with obesity, your hunger triggers are actually miscued. The part of your brain that tells you that you are hungry is not receiving the right, receiving and sending the right signals, okay? So we don't know what true hunger feels like. And so um, we eat when we are not hungry. Fasting resets that what is real hunger, okay? To what extent is my stomach rumbling? Is my stomach rumbling because it's hungry? Is my stomach rumbling because it's just finishing digesting the last meal? Or maybe even just starting to empty the stomach? And of course, because my stomach is doing something, I misinterpret that as it's hungry. And it's not. It's trying to digest my last meal. Okay, so <clears throat> fasting improves hunger by letting you know when you're really hungry and when you're just digesting. Okay, fasting improves your eating patterns. Okay, Fast, fasting can be a helpful practice for those who suffer with binge eating disorders. Okay, so like I said, it's a reset for your body <clears throat> and it can help you actually um, change the way that you are used to responding to food. Okay, fasting improves your brain function. Now, I can certainly attest to that. You feel lots more mentally clear when you're in the middle of a fast. Um, today, I started just cleaning up piles of paper that have been sitting around irritating me. Um, I don't, I feel about normal on my energy level, but I feel very clear mentally, like I can accomplish a lot of mental work today. Uh, so, while the fuzz is gone, I'm going to plow ahead and get some great stuff done. Um, when you are hungry, when you are fasting, is a great time to tackle a mental chore that has been plaguing you. Your brain function is actually much better when you're fasting. So um, I can certainly attest to that. Fasting improves your immune system. It says intermittent fasting improves the immune system because it reduces free radical damage, regulates inflammatory conditions in the body, and starves off cancer cell formation. In nature, when animals get sick, they stop eating and they instead focus on resting. This is a primal instinct to reduce stress on their internal system so that their body can fight off infection. We humans are the only species who look for food when we are ill, even when we do not need it. So that is part of that miscuing um, <clears throat> all of nature, when they get ill, they stop eating, and we do exactly the opposite, usually. <clears throat> so, um, I've often heard of uh, people saying, you know, I'm just not hungry. And that person will skip a meal because they're just not hungry. Well, invariably, that person is always a skinny mini because... <clears throat> I never skip a meal. I never skip a meal even if I'm not hungry. I eat anyway. And that's a patterning that I've got to get rid of. Okay, we need to be clued in to real hunger and realize that fasting itself is a great benefit to all parts of our body, including our immune system. We're better able to fight things off because we have a heightened immune system. Fasting contributes to self-enlightenment. You think differently when you are fasting. Okay, this morning I did a little uh, video because as I was 
plugging in my cell phone to recharge, it dawned on me that uh, how important it was for me to recharge my electronics and why was I not recharging myself spiritually with the same um, determination and drive as I do when I get up in the morning and I start plugging in all my electronics to make sure they're charged for the day. So that thought had never dawned on me that I was not recharging enough spiritually, emotionally, um, in my soul. Uh, and that came to me while I was fasting because you're just much more um, reflective when you're, when you're fasting. You're, you're not engaging in a lot of the distraction. Food is a distraction. It's a nice distraction, but it is a distraction in all of the other things that we have to get done, all of the other things that we need to cogitate on. Um, so, fasting contributes to spiritual um, awareness or self-enlightenment. And fasting helps clear the skin, prevent acne, prevent blemishes. Now, I have had this happen. I've had many blemishes go away during fasting. So, this is the... Uh, Let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, this is the end of the third day of my fast, and I hope to continue. But I am going to monitor my face. Okay, so I'm going to take off my glasses, and I'm going to get really, really close to this thing so that you can see. Okay, now right here, I've got a little, it's almost like a darkening here. This is an age spot. Now, I don't have any makeup on other than my eyebrows, okay? Maybe a little bit of mascara, but I don't wear makeup. So, this is what I really look like. Now, when you can see in my hairline, this side's not so bad. I've got some little, I don't know, they're kind of like bumps there. Um, you, can, of course, can see all my wrinkles when I get up close. Um, just impurities in the skin. Over here, I have quite a few little... Um, almost like a molish, but it's not a mole. It's like a skin impurity. And I've often uh, looked at my arms, uh, too, to see what blemishes I have on there. And then at the end of my fast, we'll see if my skin looks any better. Um, my skin will be, along with the rest of me, 59 years old in about two weeks. So, um, there's only so much improvement possible, but I'm going to see how my skin improves over this fast. So, um, I hope that you've enjoyed this little talk about fasting. I will try to be back again. Um, tomorrow to just give you a little bit more feedback. You are my um, my encouragement. Uh, I'm going to be accountable to you. Um, since I am posting this today, I don't dare fall off my fast because I would be disappointing you and um, not living up to my commitment. So I'm going to post this so that I will be committed to finishing the 10 days that I want to fast. It was difficult yesterday because my family got together at my daughter-in-law's house and she fixed a wonderful dinner and I didn't eat. So it's, it's tough, but I still got to enjoy the fellowship and hopefully after seven more days, I will have a healthier body to enjoy everything else with. And this is Carla Marie. And I hope you've enjoyed this on fasting today. See you again soon.